welcome to Ecoholics. Today we are going to understand yet another question related to the UGCNET paper 2 economics and in the paper the match the following question was asked related to various theories and its basic concept. It's a very simple question so let's try to crack it. Now this was the question which was given in the question paper of the last year. We just have to match the following lists of items. Uh, on one side we have the various economists. Okay, These are the various economists that we, that we know of. And on the other side we have the various theories which were given to um, the world by them. Right. So let us understand each and every concept over here, each and every theo theory in short and mark the correct options okay so the very first one is adam smith now adam smith of course is known as the father of economics and uh, very from the very starting of the 17th century when we start learning the various parameters of economic activities and everything the name of adam smith is well known okay now let's see what are the options against the list which is list 2 theory of big push traditional Society, Reserve Army of Labor, Division of Labor. Of course, a very important concept of the classical theory propounded by Adam Smith was of laissez-faire, capital accumulation and also about division of labor. Okay, so division of labor which also is a very important management concept, okay, which uh, was given by Henry Fiol is a vividly known concept and in various streams, various theorists and economists and other people have um, given their philosophies and ideologies around this principle division of labor. So, Adam Smith, we can match with division of labor. Now, second one is R. Rodin. Okay, Rosenstein Rodin uh, has been known to devise very important theories for the underdeveloped countries, namely the big push theory and associated theory of balanced growth. Okay, these are very, very important theories wherein he talks about the various indivisibilities in the underdeveloped countries. So, here against Rosenstein Rodin, we have already the theory of big push. So, we can just quickly associate it with the list 2 item. Okay, then we have W.W. W. Rostow. Now, Rostow again is um, another economist who had given the futuristic approach for any economy that starts from a very basic society and goes up for the development. And during the development process, it reaches its highest maximum. In these five stages of growth, which are well known, which are given by Rostow, the very first stage is the stage of traditional society, wherein Rostow says that every economy starts with scratch and is very basic, very traditional in all of its nature. It has all the basic facilities and um, all the resources are also at a very traditional level. So even the ideology is very traditional, very orthodox. So such society is present in every, uh, in, uh, every economy or for every economy which starts its development from the scratch. Rostow had given this concept. So we can just add join, which is present over here in the list to traditional society. And last but not the least, we have Karl Marx, okay. Now Karl Marx, everybody knows of, was not just an economist but a ideologist and philosopher and a propounder of various concepts, especially the concept or the ideology of Marxism has been influenced a lot later by the theories given by Karl Marx. Uh, Karl Marx has vividly done work related to capitalistic societies and how do they earn profit out of the adversities of the labor class. Okay, And for all such possibilities, the concept of reserve army of labor is one of the prominent concepts in his theory where he elaborates the dialectical materialism and various other concepts and says that gradually a capitalist society will have labor 
which is going to be rebellious okay and uh, he has amongst those concepts also termed the reserve army of labor to be constructed okay so this is the concept given by karl marx so this is how we match all of the four theorists with their given fundamental concepts this was a very simple concept but the point over here is to identify that every ugc net examination they will ask a lot of theories and theorists so you just have to know about them and you should know their basic theories and dominant theories in the world that they have given right so you're going to find all of such theories and database re regarding various theorists of economies on our app as well so you can visit our app as well as our website for the same keep liking and sharing our videos and do comment on our videos for advising us on various topics of your interest thank you so much and subscribe to our channel ecoholics